past few weeks, we traveled all across the Western Cape. From the Cedarburg, to the Stellenbosch farmlands, and the mountains of Grabo. It was now time to make our way back to Johannesburg, but not without a stop in Prince Albert for something really special. The road home would be chaotic, with all the holiday makers returning back to Johannesburg. The roads would be quite dangerous, and the journey would just be overall unpleasant. So we decided to take a bit of a detour. But where to go? There's so many spectacular places to visit on the way back home. We decided to take a whole day's drive out to a small town called Prince Albert. We would camp the night before making the final slog back home. We took a recommendation from our friends at Rolbos Overland and ventured through the Trudeau Pass, which would whet our appetites for what was to come. I remember thinking that even if the Swatberg wasn't that impressive, at least we experienced this. We had reached one of South Africa's largest deserts by now. In dire need of an ice cream, we would find ourselves at a little establishment with an enormous reputation. Out in the middle of nowhere lies this incredible spot, flooded with stories and personality. Ronnie himself handed us a map and recommended we take a dirt road from here all the way to Swatburg, skipping the town of Oatshoorn. Nervous about time, I waited up. I got to the realization that we would be setting up a tent in the dark, no matter if we took a dirt road or not. So we might as well have a bloody adventure while the sun still shines. Our detour had me very nervous to begin with. The vehicle felt very skittish around the corners as the corrugations were quite intense. I felt pressed for time and didn't want to deflate the tires. Our only other option was to increase our speed. Watching the Dakar the day before had me inspired for a little bit of off-road racing. I decided to put the car in low range to get as much torque and flexibility out of the gearing as possible. I hooked the Jimny into low third for the really nasty corners so I could keep the throttle going and have a bit more control over the vehicle, then shifting up to low 4th and 5th on the longer stretches of road. We could maintain a speed of 60 to 80 kilometers an hour in low 5th. It certainly felt more solid on the road, having more torque behind the wheels when I needed it. All this time with the Swartberg looming over us and the sun setting behind us, we had to get there. There could have been no more perfect time to experience the pass. The beauty was just breathtaking. It was a big dream come true for me. To be in such a beautiful place with someone that I love so much, getting to film and photograph it and share it with all the people who really appreciate it. What an incredible experience. That is not all the Swatberg had in store for us. As we ascended further, switchback after switchback, snaking our way up the mountain, reaching the top of this incredible pass, we were so caught up in the moment, we forgot all about the descent. Our camera batteries lingering around 1%, our car just couldn't charge it fast enough. We ended up having to take out our cell phones and capture the footage. We couldn't leave the sunset undocumented. The light, the scenery, the car, everything, just perfect. It's just one of those moments where the saying, the best camera is the one you have with you, just couldn't be more true. As we reached the bottom of our first pass, we braced ourselves for the next one. A much narrower pass, with a steep drop down into rock. Shandell loves this type of road, and tried to stay as 
absolutely far away from the edges possible. The road began to lead us through an incredible canyon, eventually spitting us out in the little town of Prince Albert, with nothing but a faint glow of the sun left to see us to our campsite that evening. So we arrived late last night. We're staying in a place called Ode Kloof. It's uh, like a farm slash game farm reserve place. It was a really, really long drive yesterday, but it's been a long three weeks as well. So I'm getting super excited just to get home. Today I feel like I've got to answer my pants. Like I don't even want to film, I don't even want to take photos, I just want to drive home. Um, but yeah, we've had a really great trip so far. Last night we drove through the Swartberg. It's incredible. Really, really was incredible. So we've got our little campsite set up here. Had a decent night's sleep. We've been testing out these new mattresses. They, they're quite nice. Um, just need to get the right air pressure. Because sometimes it's too hard, sometimes it's too soft. So just playing around with that just to get used to them. But I've had a couple of revelations about the build of the vehicle and some directions I'd like to go in. And um, a ground tent is, I don't know. I, I'm happy with the ground tent using and sleeping in a ground tent, but I think for this car, I think a rooftop tent might be the answer. So. I don't know, I'm going to start doing a little bit of research and start looking around and stuff and maybe I'll go visit Easy Orn and see how it sizes up on the Gemini. Um, but I think, I mean especially with the camping stuff and all that, I mean look, that's really all of our stuff. And that's like, that's like a groceries bag, that's all the cooking equipment. There's a more efficient way to do this. In the tent, it's just our clothing bags, mattresses and stuff like that. There's, there's no need to take up that much space with equipment, especially in a car like the Gemini. So I feel like maybe doing something like a rooftop tent would make it a lot more efficient in terms of space and how we camp and everything like that. So it's a route I'm gonna be exploring and doing some research on. Otherwise, we are heading back to Joburg today. So, it's a pretty boring drive, so there won't be much to show you. But we'll be heading through from Prince Albert, where we are now, up to Beaufort West, and then along the N1, all the way to Joburg. We'll see you once we're home, and once have had a shave, and a shower, and I'm feeling a bit more like myself. Thanks for watching and please remember to like, subscribe and comment down below, get involved in the community and I will see you again next time.